uh, it was probably at its best that night in Paris. Are you uh, are you over Thierry Henry? Um, no, not really. I don't think I could ever be over that, to be honest with you. Um, especially the the night that was in it, um, to qualify for the, the World Cup, and you know we were flying, we were flying at the time in in the game, and um, for something like that to for something like that to knock us out is um, yeah, it's a sickener. Um, especially when you got VAR these days. Every time VAR comes on, I'm thinking, Jesus, if, if only we had that. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's sometimes yeah, it's difficult sometimes um, to even. Yeah, I don't know. You know, even to talk about that night, or even to to hear his name, sometimes it's you know, it sort of brings back memories. Um, but yeah, it was a tough one to take. When you watch it back, like, it, are you looking at it going, God, if I'd stepped over here earlier, this might have happened. Like, do you look at it defensively in any way, or do you just think, like, this guy handled the ball? It's a clear and obvious handball. Nobody ever thinks about this passage of play again if the referee just makes the right decision, and we all move on with our lives. No, I think I think after after every goal that that I've conceded in my career, I always look at myself and I always think, what could I have done better at that time? Um, but that goal, it was it was just a tricky one because you know, first of all, he handled it, <laughs> which are not which, <laughs> it's not expected. <laughs> yeah, which which you're not allowed to. If the, if the referee said before the free kick was taken, said, listen, we're 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 going to play Gaelic now for the next five minutes. Maybe I might have done something different, but um, I wasn't expecting him to catch the ball basically twice to keep it in play. Um, so when I look at it, you know, two lads go for a header. I'm expecting them to miss it, which they did, and then it bounced awkwardly around sort of waist height, and I'm thinking, right, can't really do anything here. If I go to, if I go to slash at it, it could end up in the middle of the goal. It could end up anywhere. So it was a difficult one to deal with. And this is all, that, you know, you're, you're talking a millimetre of a second to, to decide all this stuff and um, you know it was going out of play it was going out of play so um, he caught the ball which you're not allowed to do so um, yeah you know it was it just it was disappointing it was it was basically from the whole the whole start of it when the the the, um, the playoffs got seeded that was that was the start of it you know it was never seeded before but there was a few big hitters in the in the playoffs and um, it felt like UEFA uh, didn't want the big hitters to meet each other, you know, in case they they missed out on the final. So, um, there's a bit of a bad taste in in people's mouths with that. And then we got France, who were who were very strong at the time. Um, and then for for the, you know the handball to happen, which you know was blatantly blatantly obvious what had happened. So um, to for that to to knock us out of the of the World Cup was was a really really tough one to take. And yet yeah, it still is, to be honest. I'm not surprised that it still is because even though we have spoken about it at length for what 13 years at this stage like this is your life this is your career this is getting to a World Cup Finals taken away and like the anger I still remember the anger talking to the players that night I've never seen anything quite like it when the realisation sunk in amongst the players who were further away as to what had happened that like that's not something that's ever going to leave you like when you're talking about your 33 Ireland caps you know people will look at World Cups and you know you should have been there you could have been there yeah, yeah, we sh- yeah we should have been there just because the performance from the team that night was outstanding. It's probably one of the best Irish performances that I can remember. Um, I remember on the pitch as well, feeling you know, you know, it felt felt great. It felt as if everything was going really well. Um, I felt as if we were we were we were pushing for a winner. Um, so the whole the whole night was you know was going was going brilliantly until um until until the madness until you know the, the blatant handball. So. To be to be sna- to be snatched away from you like that is um yeah it's a tough one to take especially when when you dream of playing in World Cups as a kid and you know it's basically the the, the pinnacle of, of football is is the World Cup you know you grow up watching it so yeah. for for it to be taken away from you like that is um yeah it's a it's a tough one it makes you sick to be honest like and this is as I say well over a decade on we're talking about this when when you look back if you were to talk to family friends around that time did it take you a while to really get over it like was it having a did it have a big impact on your life in the days and weeks afterwards um yeah it did yeah it did i had a bit of a i had a bit of a i can't I can't say that, but i had a bit of a screw it moment you know what i mean it was like God, I, I had a bit of a you know ah sure here this is ridiculous this 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 is ridiculous so i had a, I had a bit of a moment where i didn't care anymore do you know what i mean it was like but i think it worked for me quite well where I'd sort of 
you know, it sort of relaxed. I was thinking, was that with, was that with football? Was um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It was like it was so disappointing. It was so disappointing, and the the aftermath after as well. I was just like, ah, here, um, this is ridiculous. So I sort of just um, I don't know. I had a bit of an effort moment, you know what I mean? I can't say, obviously, but I had a bit of an effort moment yeah. where I was just like, let's just crack on here. What's the point? Yeah, let's just, you know, just, just give everything that I've got. Whatever happens, happens. You know, I was trying to control what I can control, and obviously this is this is something that I couldn't control. So um, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, I don't know. It was, um, yeah, but it was a tough, it was a tough um, period, yeah. It was tough. It was a tough one to, to take, and, um yeah, still, still, yeah, still, still, sort of. It's still makes you feel sick, like you know. But, but that's that's, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, as they say on Love Island. 